Hey everybody, welcome back to Saturday Night Live. This 95th edition of Saturday Night Live. Guys, I cannot believe that. 95, we are creeping up on 100. Very, very cool. Who is all in here? My goodness. Ethan, Eggs and Ham, Goondocks, Monster, Ah, Grateful Panic, what's up, John? Hello, hello. I saw your take your time, sweetheart. I saw that. <laughs> Jason, Christine. My goodness, good to see you all. Tom, Chad, Jojo. Right on. My goodness, my goodness. Rusty, hello. Did I get everybody? Still more. William, William, how you doing, man? Holy smokes, guys. Paul's here. Blade Ogre's here. Knives Fast is here. Dude, you should be in bed, man. Nicholas is here. Oh, nice. Chaparral, KJ's here. Sweet. Mariana's here. Hello. By the way, Mariana, I was I was checking the uh, tracking on all the stuff that got sent out, and I'm pretty sure it said yours was delivered... Um, to Charles like you requested so just wanted to give you that update Micah hello Peter howdy beer and love what can go how can you go wrong with beer and love man that's what that's that's like that's awesome Mark hello hello oh my goodness yes speaking of I was just talking about Mariana and her box guys are starting to post pictures on Instagram and stuff of all their winnings. Hey, Navy. Navy 85. He posted some pictures. Paul, hello. Tier 1. What is up? Libertarian is here. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And it's just awesome to see. Because, guys, I swear to God, I have no idea what you got. I, I really don't. We packed those boxes and they got sent out. So I don't know who won what. So if you're here or if you watch this and you're a winner and you have Instagram, please post some pictures because I'd love to see what you want because, <laughs> well, I know what went out, but I don't know who won what. So very cool. Hey, Silva, how are you? Glad to have you. So I know Navy 85, um, Jesse B just posted some, Jesse B won one, he just posted some. I know TPK got her box. I think she was trying to decide on whether she was going to wait till Christmas to open it up or not. Um, for those of you that don't know, I guess I can, I'll put this out now. Um, we did have one winner that was, it was a winner in the U.S. column that was actually international and did not identify themselves as international. So, unfortunately... I had to redraw and our good buddy and just awesome, awesome dude, Rick Karens was the one that won. So quick shout out to Rick. Congratulations, my friend. Very, very cool. And I know he got his box, so I'm not sure if he's opened it yet or not. So, hey, Todd, your box is on the way, bud. It's, I don't know when it'll get there, but it's on the way. It's a long way from here to Ireland at this time of year with all the mail, but I hope you get it soon. Hey, Matt Hatter, what is up? Speak of the devil, there's Mr. Rick himself. So, hey, Factors of Jack. Hello, hello. So, yes, the boxes are starting to roll in. So, I'm hoping everybody gets them okay and everything, everything goes smoothly. With that many boxes this time of year, oh, 14-2. <laughs> I hope not. I hope it's not that far. Holy. Nova Scotia. Who am I thinking? Who was in Ireland? It must have been the other one I sent to Ireland. One, that's right. You're in Nova Scotia. My bad, Todd. The other winner was in um, Ireland. So one went to Nova Scotia and one went to Ireland. I was thinking it was you that was in Ireland. My bad. My apologies. But yeah, so, well, hopefully yours will make it a little bit quicker then. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, we did know that Tony Bowes passed away, most definitely, unfortunately. 
But yes, that, a couple of weeks ago now, or two, three weeks ago, maybe even. So yeah, for sure. Zach's here. What's up? All right, guys. Well, let's start off the show with we will take a look at our coin for this evening. This is from the USS Missouri in Pearl Harbor. This is a uh, 75th anniversary commemorative coin. Got this when we were in or on Oahu and visited Pearl Harbor in February, right before everything shut down. Thank goodness. You know, somebody else said that, Jason. Somebody else said it was shaky. A, 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 vid a video, I don't remember which one, was shaky, which was really weird because I went right and watched it. I watched, went and watched the playback, and no, nothing. So I don't know. That's really weird. Hey, Chef Daniel, what is up? How's it up in the cold, blustery north? But, yes, we picked this up. I got a couple of them. Of course, I got one from Pearl Harbor. Um, I believe I got one up at... Hello, Paul. How are you? I believe I got one from the uh, Air Base as well. Knife Dude, hello. Oh, there he is. What's up, Zeb? How are you? So, yes. Had to pick up a commemorative coin from the USS Missouri. So, what was everybody carrying today? Let's see. Hello, Minette. How are you? Oh, um, I'm going to do this real quick. There he is. There he is. You see him? There's little red. There's little red. He's part of the team. He's sitting up there. There you go. There's little red. So the new member of the Big Red EDC review team, little red, happily joined us this week. Let's see. What do we got here? What's everybody got? Do, do, do. Banter. Nice. Deca. Okay. 940. Jade. Very good. I have not, Zeb. I have not. I didn't. I haven't got anything. Uh, I was going to show some stuff that did come in today, but I have not gotten that. So, um, let's see. XM24. Very nice. Heretic Wraith. Ooh, nice. Topher, Techno2, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Let's see. What do we got? PM3 and a little native. Very good. Bear Ops, Rancor. Oh, nice. And Tanto. Manix 2. Best at Bowtie. And a copper-infused marble carbon fiber scales. Oh, nice. Nice. We Moat. There you go. I should be having the Moat be coming around here soon in the pass around. I did the, what did I have? I had the, oh, the Gava and the, oh my goodness, not Manix. That's all I, That's all that's coming to my mind. Yeah, the other one. God, I can't think of it. Jade PM2. Banter and Reich F81. Nice. Another Deca. Elementum. Very good. Another Elementum. Very nice. NS35. Nice. Condor. Krakatoa. Ooh. Sack Soldier. Gerber Sedulo. 110 Honey Badger. Honey Badger Claw. And a Gerber 2. Uh, Raja 2. Archeo Copper. Nice. Is that a TPK special? <laughs> Best Tech Ivy and a Wii Moat. Victorinox. And it keeps jumping on me. Victorinox Compact, Bark River Wayfair, MKM Farah, nice, nice. That was one that was in the, the running when I got the Insunzo, but the Insunzo was the one that went out in the poll. Hey, Taz, what's up, buddy? 2020 Hinder, XM3, MX18, three and a half, nice. Minax, that's the one, thank you. All I could, oh, man, I could not think of that for Save My Soul. Thank you for saving me. Tier 1. KC, thank you, thank you. Browning Fixed Blade. My goodness, y'all are carrying a lot of knives. The moat, yeah, it is small. It was smaller than I thought it would be. 
you know, obviously I could just read the specs and that would help, but same way with the Malia. I don't know why I thought it was a bigger knife. Centros, cotton sampler, very good. Sog AT, very good, very good. Nice. Isham, McKenna, Tinker. A broken Gerber, crucial in a Ruger LCP2. <laughs> right on, Devil Dog. Ooh, custom fixed blade from Viking Blade. Oh, nice. Send cut, cool. I'm... I'm 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 on I'm on board with Sen Cut right now. I'm on board with Sen Cut so far. XM twenty four. Ooh. Ganzo F seven fifty three. There you go. Right on. Whoo! I caught up. Wow. Hey Winchester. Oh my goodness. Shoe monster. Hey, how you doing? My goodness. Whoo! I caught up. Wow. Okay. And you got the grip. Very, very good. Well, I hope you all are having a fantastic Saturday. I know I am. It was a good day today. We got the Christmas tree up today. Oh, got it decorated. Got pretty much got the house decorated for Christmas. So we got something accomplished today. So that's always good, I guess. So everybody else, you got all got your Christmas trees up? Or if you celebrate Christmas, do you have your Christmas trees up? <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Paul. Yes, it is for you. Definitely good morning. Cutting it close when? When are we cutting it close? Um, I don't know. You ordered a send cut two weeks ago and haven't got it yet? That was kind of like me in that SRM, what, 9201? Yeah, it just never showed up. Amazon said, yeah, we don't know what happened. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's upright in the box? Okay, that's close. That's close. Oh. Oh, right on, Chef Daniel. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, you guys, all the boxes and stuff that you guys are sending for this raffle have started to pour in. Peter and Christine hooked me up with some awesome stuff. Um, Marshall, I got a couple of Mora knives from Marshall today. Let's see. Right here, right here. There's those. Those were handy. I didn't do an unboxing. I'm sorry, Marshall. I apologize. I've done unboxing so far. Please still love me. I did not do an unboxing because we were busy doing Christmas stuff today, but these did come in. So these will go in the raffles as well. But Peter and Christine sent me a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, JD Shadowborn Hanks sent me a bunch of stuff. I know Zeb said he was sending stuff. I think tier one said he was, there's a lot of people sending stuff. Uh, Chef Daniel, he sent me some stuff. So very good guys. Just so you know, Guys, check out, uh, and, and please forgive me, JD, go, no, go check out DNA Hanks on Instagram. Chef Daniel, he runs DNA Hanks on Instagram as well. He's just starting up, so he's out of Canada. He's got some really, really cool Hanks, so we'll give a shout out to DNA, DNA Hanks and Chef Daniel. So... Yours, yours has been up for a while, Casey. <laughs> right on. Yeah, we kind of... Tomorrow, right on. Other people's trees. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we do not do... Okay, here's one for you, since we're coming up close for Christmas. And I've seen a couple answers already, but... Uh, real or fake? What do you guys do, real or fake? We do fake. I mean, up here in the Pacific Northwest, we can get some beautiful real ones. I just, guys, I detest real evergreens. I, oh, I do. So what do we got? We got a couple fakes so far, okay. Okay. Fake this year, okay. Um, I use them for a little bit of everything, Goondocks. There's another fake. 
anything but cut. First year with a fake one. Okay, fake, fake, fake. None. Fake. Yeah, we never really had real ones, honestly. I, we did a real one. That's not true. We did a real one one year, and that's why we have a fake one now. Fake, fake. I'm, I'm, it's looking like fake is definitely taken. El Plastico, yes. Yeah. Save the real trees for firewood. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like fakes, fakes winning out. Well, that's fine. That's fine, knife dude. Happy Hanukkah. When is Hanukkah? Has it passed? It has, hasn't it? When's Hanukkah? My apologies for not keeping up. Hey, Chris, what's up, buddy? Chris uses a fake one, too. Right on. <laughs> I, you might be. You might be. No, there's a couple that said real, but most mostly fake. So, all right. Last night? Okay. Titanium tree. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, all right, guys. We're 16 minutes in. We got to look at some knives. We got to look at some knives. Let's look at this one. This is the Blade Eight. There's God. Jesus. SMKW exclusive. Golly. Kershaw Tumbler. Sinkovich Design D2 Steel. The thing I kind of like about it is you've got that vented carbon fiber on it. That looks pretty interesting to me. Got some texture for grip. You got some really good grip with that. There's some really, really good grip. Um, feels really good in hand. Um, this one was... Everybody, uh, it was a, when they showed this on Guys Talk Knives, everybody said Melina had to send me one, so she did. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys very much, because it worked. <laughs> so thank you very much. Yeah, Sinkovich design is definitely that angular. No, it is not. It is not assisted. It is not assisted at all. It does have an absolutely great action on it. Well, interesting design. I mean, it's you. It's pretty much a Sinkovich. There's really, I mean, you just hold this thing up and it screams Sinkovich. Uh, Subframe lock, like I said, D2 steel. Deep carry clip, yes. Yes, and it's mounted on top so we don't have to worry about pockets, the clip screws. It's a top mount. So there you go. Kershaw's your favorite. Hey, Mark, how you doing? If you guys didn't know, there's the knife market right there. Him and I had our nice, long, <laughs> nice, long channel chat that posted this morning. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome, though. Uh, the detent. Now, I'm going to get to that real quick, Todd. I got your question in the, in the queue for you. But I would just wanted to say... Thanks, Mark, for the awesome, awesome chat today. It was, it was a blast. I had a great time. Uh, it was, it was longer. It's probably the longest one so far, but the time melted away. It was just an awesome, awesome conversation. So I really, really appreciate uh, you taking the time out of your night, as it was, uh, to do that. That was very, very cool. So hey, Chris. Hey, Taz. Who else? Somebody else snuck here on Beefer. Hey, what's up, Beefer? Now, back to this. Back to Todd's question on the detent. Um, I've heard that some people have had detent issues with this one. This, guys, to me, this detent is about as perfect as a detent can get on this knife. I mean, it is really, really good. The channel chat made you hungry. Yeah, we did talk about food a little bit. Yeah, we did. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Talking about living back in living in the Midwest and stuff cuz uh Marcus from Iowa, so definitely talking about being on the farm and everything. That was that was pretty fun. But no, the detent on this one, and man, it's it's dialed in. It is really dialed in. And so, no no issues for me whatsoever. Um it, it might even be to the strong side a little bit. But it's, I mean, it's pretty dang good. Um, yeah. I mean, there you go. That was a pretty much a weak flip, and it's still open. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what to say other than it's pretty dang good. The detent on this one is pretty darn good. And it's red. So thank you very, very much to Melina for sending this one out. Yeah. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Hey, D, what's up, man? How are you? CK, how are you? Oh, I had to make popcorn for the show. Right on. Very good. Very good. I know I've made it. I've made it if somebody's making popcorn to watch the show. That is just, that's a sign of, yes, I'm in. So thank you. Thank you, Vit. Yeah, it is. It's just a little... Maybe on the little to the strong, but to me, it's pretty darn good. I, I really like it. I really like it. So let's see here. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any comments, which I'm pretty sure I am because to a $200 knife. Oh, really? Well, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Hey, John, what is up? There was a – John R. was our SKL winner – it was last week because he just, I hope it was last week because he just got his package. So hope it didn't take two weeks. Whoo. So glad you got your package, John. Nice. I like it. CK's making popcorn to watch the show. Yes. Can't own or can't carry. Oh, Ethan. Okay. Japanese candy. There you go. Yes, I, I totally agree with you, William. I would rather have the detent a little bit stronger than on the weak side any day. I, I totally agree with that. I'm I'm right there with you. Right edge. Right edge. Right edge. It's not ringing a bell, Goondocks. Not ringing a bell. Is it a budget brand? And nothing against the name, but it sounds like a budget brand name. Which makes me believe I probably should have heard of it. Moose steak with hot sauce. Wow, okay. All righty. When does one stop? When sharpening one frustrated? Oh, well... I use, I, there's been a couple of times where I've just kind of walked away and just said, I'll come back to it later. And it usually works out. Yes, the tumbler. This is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive tumbler. Oh, okay. Right edge. No, that, it's not, it's not really a uh... trail mix. I'll take trail mix. Trail mix is good. I'll take trail mix. Yeah. Oh, let's see what else we got. So let's let's take a look at something that Shoe Monster, who's in the in the crowd tonight. Oh, there you go. Zach just threw up the link. Thank you very much, Zach. Much appreciated. We can check out some right edge knives if we'd like to. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, they do have some of the same stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So, Shoe Monster sent me this to check out. It's an OHT inside, but I, I got to be honest with you, Shoe. I am. This is what. Yeah. This is what's pretty darn Austin. 
This comes from oh Brown Bear Customs. Man, I hope I said that right. Golly. I am not on it tonight. Brown Bear Customs, right? That's got to be right. Please let that be right. <laughs> um, gotta look, gotta look. Black Bear, damn it. Darn it, I mean, darn it. Black Bear Custom Kydex. Oh, wow. Tonight is not a good night, guys. Whew. Black Bear Custom Kydex. I had to look it up. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know what's going on tonight. The mind is not working. That happens from time to time. But I tell you what, this sheath is awesome. I love this sheath. And the reason I like this sheath so much is you got the OHT in there, right? Pull it out, and it auto-deploys the pliers. I like that a lot. Yeah, the sheath is, you got the tech lock. You got the whole Kydex, but that, that's my favorite part of the whole thing, is it auto-deploys the pliers when you pull it out. How does awesome work? It works just like that. That's how awesome works. That is cool. Now, I haven't got into the OHT a whole lot yet to check out the tools, but it is spring-loaded, which is nice. Let's see, what do we got on this bad boy? We got a blade. We got a saw that's seen some well, well used saw. Got a little flat tip from the looks of it. Got a bigger flat tip. We have, what do we got here? We have our can opener and potentially another flat tip. A saw can opener, and a Phillips. Is that everything? That might be everything. Did I get everything? I think I did. I think I got everything. But wow. You got the silver and black version? Rice. Nice. Does it retract them when you put it in the sheath? No, because you have to, when you deploy, well, let's see. Oh, son of a gun. I hadn't tried it yet. Rick, you're a genius. That is... Okay. All right. Now, now this is just awesome. Are you out, Casey? All right, man. Get some sleep, brother. Get some sleep. Have a good night, my friend. Have a good Sunday. Yep. Dang. I hadn't tried that yet, Rick. I hadn't messed with it a whole lot. I saw that it auto-deployed. Didn't, to be perfectly honest with you, when I was looking at it earlier, I didn't even think about it auto-retracting, and it does. Dang. That's just cool. That's just awesome. This sheath is the bomb. Black Bear Custom Kydex. Yes. Lou, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Another member of Big Red's Brigade. There are several of them in here tonight. You see the little red stars next to their names? They are members of Big Red's Brigade. Ch support the channel as channel members, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys doing that. You don't know how much. I tell you what, guys, you don't know how much that's helping right now. It it's it's amazing. So, hey, Mav Dog, what is up? So, I got Shoe Monster, Lou, Knife Market, Zeb, Knife Dude, Ethan, Peter, Christine, Paul. John, Grateful Panic, Rusty, CK, Factors of Jack, Chef Daniel, they're all, 
guys, I, just, I can't thank you enough. Zach, of course, I, I can't thank you enough. That is really, really helping out right now, guys. Don, there's Don. He's one, too. All right. Jason, yes. Rick, too. My goodness. Thank you all so very much. You guys are absolutely. Who bought Cold Steel? Um, a company called GSM. That's who bought Cold Steel. G GSM. Gulf Sierra Mike. So thank you all once again for supporting the channel as channel members and parts of or as members of Big Red's Brigade. I thank you very much. Hey, Sue Chicken, what is up? GSM Outdoors, there you go. Oh, you got to restart Chrome. Uh-oh. Hey, Practical Knife Reviews, what's up? Oh, Benefit, right on. That's cool, man. Very, very cool. Uh, that is, I think that remains to be seen, Goondocks. That room, oh, eggs and ham. Thank you very much, man. Oh, we got to give eggs and ham some love. Got to give him some love. Give him some thumbs up. We'll give him some big red brigade. Thank you very much, brother. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome to the brigade. Oh, Chris, dude. Chris is a member of the brigade. Thank you so much, man. Wow. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely awesome. There's some love for Chris. You did do a thing. You most certainly did do a thing, Chris. Thank you very much. You are awesome, man. Chris, Ethan, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Welcome to the brigade. But yes, GSM Outdoors, um, like I said, I think it... Uh, no, no, you did not miss anything particularly crazy. Uh, GSM Outdoors, I, I really know nothing about them. I know they own a lot of um, outdoor, you know, outdoor camping related companies. Um, and when I say a lot, I mean, there's quite a few. They own quite a few brands. And Cold Steel has now just become one of them. So uh, I... I I don't know whoever said it first was right when they said it's going to be a waiting game. That's what it's going to be. I mean, Hey, chef Daniel. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Like I said, guys, don't forget to check out DNA Hanks on Instagram. Thank you so much. Chef. They are in Texas. They're based out of Texas. I do know that much. Um, when you look up their business address, it basically looks like a uh, like a Walmart distribution center, like a warehouse. That's what it looks like. So, Tepe, what's up, man? Where's your sticker? Where's your sticker? Email me, bigrededc at gmail.com. You'll get a sticker. I'll send you a sticker. BigRedEDC at gmail.com. Shoot me an email, give me an address, and I'll get one on the way. Yes, we have a lot of awesome, awesome channels in here tonight. I mean, I think almost I think almost everybody in here has got one, it seems like. But yes, we have some very, very good channels. Peter, Christine, Zach, uh, Knife Market, who else? Shoe Monster, Dual Sport. Uh, practical knife reviews. Who else has got a channel in here? I know there's more than that. Ethan. I know there's more. I know there's more. Um, Decor de Lamb. Yes, yes, he's here. He's got a channel. I really appreciate. I really appreciate all the support. It just goes to show how we kind of come together and, you know, yep. Factors of Jack. Yep, he's here too. So Goondocks is here. I do, as a matter of fact, I will be giving one away at the end of this. Uh, I will be giving away at one at the end of this uh, live stream. There'll be a big swag pack 
Lots of swag in there. Uh, Shoe Monster, when he sent me the OHT and the sheath, he did send me one of these. So thank you very much, Shoe Monster. I will be adding one of those to the hashtag work locker swag. Definitely. You will be immortalized there for sure. Uh, shoot me an email, Goondocks. Shoot me an email, bigreddc at gmail.com. Oh, D. T. Oh, 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 goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. You guys that want stickers, just email me. Thank you so much, man. Holy smokes. We got to give some love. I think I forgot to give Chef some love. So let's see. There is, there's some love for Chef Daniel. There's some love for D. All sorts of love going out tonight. Thank you guys so very much. Yeah, you guys, you guys that want stickers, just email me. BigRedEDC at gmail.com. We'll get it taken care of. Faux show. So let's talk about another knife. What do we want to talk about now? Let's talk about this one. I want to talk about this one. Because this is a nice little knife. Oh, Topher, you're out, man. All right, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Always glad to see you, my friend. Uh, so we got to get together and have another cup of coffee. That was a good time. If we, well, somewhere we could drive through and get coffee and stand around as long as we're six feet apart at a park somewhere or something. But let's do that. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> but this little guy, I am digging this knife. This is a Civivi Pintail. I am digging it. Hello, Stuart. How are you? Yes. Yes, Winchester. The pintail. I I am really liking this. Now I know Stuart just came in and he's one of those guys with bigger hands. So I know. I know. It's a smaller knife. But for us hand models, it's dang near perfect. Action. The detent is pretty good. Little drop. There you go. Thumb stud, dual thumb stud, flipper. S35VN. Micarta, somebody asked about the Micarta. It's not bad. Didier, hello buddy. How are you? The Micarta's not bad. Right on, Goondocks. You betcha. I'll get them. I'll get them tonight after we're done, and I get everything taken care of with the live. I'll hit them up. But this one's an olive, and oh, nice. Oh, I messed that one up. The detent on this one too. I mean, it's right where it needs to be. Um, S35BN, is it the first one? Oh, now you're going to test me. Now you're going to test me. Somebody asked me about FRN, uh, Civivis the other night, and it was the, what was it? It was the Ortis and the Wyvern were in FRN, along with the next one I'm going to show you. Um, the clip, clip's not bad. It's deep carry, recessed pocket, re recessed screws, so we're good there. Hey, that's not me, Sue Chicken. It's these guys calling me a hand model. I don't, I didn't, that, I, that name was bestowed upon me. I did not choose it. So. Pintail is 80 to 85, 80 to 85 range. So in my opinion, not too bad. Not too bad of a price for it. S35 VN, Micarta. Um, there again, like I said, it is on the smaller side. Side so. Oh yeah, dude, D that 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 Black Bear Custom Kydex is really nice. 
It is very nice. Well, yeah, this is, I'm really liking it. Not a, I can feel this part of the clip. I can feel the turned up part of the clip a little bit. Not bad, though. I'm kind of squeezing down on it just to see. Um, if you, if you hork down on it for a long period of time, you might start feeling, I mean, it also depends on your hand size too. You might start to feel it after a while, but just in a normal grip, it's not too bad. Yeah. If I just hold it in a normal grip, yeah, it's not bad at all. So if you really start to bear down on it, you can start to feel it. The action is not bad. It's it's fairly droppy. Uh, it's got a pretty... With me, I keep hitting the... Where I want to put my thumb, which is probably not a bad idea that it does come down on my thumbnail. Oh, Mark. Oh, man. Thank you, brother. Welcome to the brigade, man. Sweet. Let's give Mark some brigade love. Yeah, buddy. Thank you very much. There you go. There's some brigade love to Mark. Hey, Cauldron, what's up? Oh, Cauldron, have you gotten your box yet? Cauldron was another winner from Zach and JB's Super Awesome Holiday Giveaway. So, hey, Dillip, what is up, buddy? If you've been here for a while, I apologize that I'm just catching you. But you haven't got it yet. Okay. All right. I know it might have been yours might have been one of them when I put it in it said uh it's running late so because they're starting to roll in I mean people are getting them I tell you what guys I had one because I mailed a bunch of them on Saturday I remembered I mailed about yeah yeah that's what I thought that's what it said cauldron um The ones that I sent on Sunday, a lot of them are just arriving. Some of them said they arrived like Thursday, but I mailed one on Monday from here in Washington and it got to Massachusetts. I mailed it Monday afternoon and it got to Massachusetts on two, or Wednesday afternoon. So that was true priority. That was damn near, a darn near, doc on it. Man, tonight's just a crazy night. We're doing all sorts of stuff here tonight. Sorry. Um, it made it quick. So at least one of them made it in the correct time frame. Hey, Hollywood, what's up? What? Oh, no, you're not. Oh, man, what'd you do? Hollywood's in the ER with a thumb gushing blood. Hey, I'm just going to say you need one of these. Shameless plug, finger cut kit. Um, dang, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, William. Man, William's on board. Welcome to the brigade, buddy. Glad to have you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's not good, Hollywood. What did you do? My goodness. Oh, what? Somebody congratulated Dillip. What happened? What did I miss? Doggone it. Oh, Dillip won Blade Banker's giveaway. I hadn't watched that video yet. Oh, congratulations, man. Sweet. Nice. That was a nice giveaway, man. Nice giveaway. Good win there. Excellent. Very, very good. Thank you, thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much. That's awesome. He won Blade Banker's giveaway. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, that all that doesn't always work, Zeb, unfortunately. So I did kind of say I was gonna talk about an FRN Civivi. So if you guys saw the unboxing, this is the Badlands Vagabond. That is a very, very interesting name for a knife. It's an interesting name for anything, but a very interesting name 
for a knife. Now, as I said, FRN handle on this one, D2 blade steel. Again, on the smaller side, not quite as small as the pintail. Yes, very simple. Um, you know what, guys? I'm usually not a big, you know, I'm, I'm the FRN. I'm kind of like, eh, you know. Um, this FRN is not bad. Not bad at all. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. It is a good looking knife. I, I, I really like both of these. I really like both of these knives. Like I said, black coated D2 blade. Uh, this again, you have a flipper and the action on it is pretty darn good as well. Thumb studs, not assisted. FRN backspacer, again, deep carry, pocket clip. Recessed pocket screws. I have not had my hands on an Appalachian Drifter yet. I think I'm in the... I think I'm in the pass around for that one as well. Yes, recessed screws on the pocket clip on both of these. So, and it's ambidextrous, so right or left hand carry on both of them as well. So, very, very good. Oh, Chris. Chris. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Show Chris some love. Um, no, you do not have a lanyard hole, but you do have, let me get back here. You do have a lanyard post right there. So no lanyard hole, but you do have a lanyard post. Hey, C. Lemansky, what's up, buddy? Dave, good morning. Good morning, Dave. How are you? C. Lemansky's here. Dave is now here. Yes. Very good to see you all. Haven't figured out the special emojis. Um, if you click on the little smiley face down there, down below the chat box, that should bring them up and it should say Big Red EDC and then they all should be there. Hey, Newfie. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, man? Good to see you. No, no lanyard hole, but you do have a lanyard post. You do have a lanyard post, so it's lanyard lanyard folks can still kind of rejoice. I, I think I, if I was using lanyards, I would prefer the lanyard hole. As on the pintail, the pintail does have a lanyard hole where we just have a lanyard post on. Well, there we go. Darn backwards camera. So I would prefer a lanyard hole over a lanyard post if I use lanyards. There we go. So both of them, guys, I am really liking both of those knives. So very, very user friendly for those of us hand models, apparently. Like I said, the, the Badlands Vagabond is a little bit, what's it got? What's it got for grip length? Badlands Vagabond has got about three and a half on the grip, three and a half inches. And then the pintail, that's probably closer to three. Yeah, I'd give it just over three on the grip length on the pintail. So, uh, detent. Detent is a concern on which one? Where are we concerned about a detent? I know there was some concern. Brothers knives. No, I don't, Mark. I do not have any brothers knives in my collection. Yes, it is. New yes, the, va the Vagabond is FRN. Uh, yeah, I can. Sure. Be happy to. I can compare it to a bug out right here. 
Look at that. Big ready to see bug out. So there is how the pintail compares. So let's do this. Yeah, no, because it won't zoom. Um, bug out's got it by just, let's go, let's go pivot to pivot. Bug out's got it by just a little bit on the blade. Maybe a hair on the handle, but definitely I'd say a good, probably closer to a quarter inch on, on the bug out. And then I will compare the Badlands Vagabond to a bug out as well. Pivot to pivot, we're looking at, now there you could pretty much make a bug out sandwich between the pintail and the Vagabond. Bug out would sit pretty much right in the middle. Hey, Born of Blades, what's up, buddy? Um, do, 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 do. I don't have, I don't have a grip within reach. Sorry about that. Yes, yes, that is my custom bug out. When they first put the bug outs into the custom shop, I had to get a big red EDC custom bug out. It just kind of, it had to happen, you know, so. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, bug out sandwich, pretty much. It kind of is a big, it's a big red EDC exclusive bug out. Kind of, yeah. I mean, you could pretty much go on there and build one for yourself, so. It wouldn't be exclusive very long if you did that, but for right now it is, as far as I know. Did I just try to flipper tab the bug out? I don't know, I might have. I might have forgot what I had in my hand and tried it, who knows? Seems like that's kind of the way this night's going, holy cow. This, here we go. This night, I don't know why, but this night gets some of those. Holy smokes. I don't know what's going on tonight. My brain is not functioning. Oh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, nice. No. I think for the etching, I think the etching was like 10 bucks. I think that's what the etching wasn't much. I think the lasering was only like 10 bucks. Are you, dude, it could have been. I could, I very well could have, KJ. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, what's Winchester stealing? Oh, one of the MKM M390 slip joints for 70 bucks? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good deal. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one actually came in a it came in a uh, SMKW Army care package. It was a free item in a care package. And it was exactly what I needed to do the live stream. It was very good because I can get them. Because unfortunately, I got a cheap camera and it doesn't zoom. But <laughs> that, hopefully that'll be remedied soon. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice, especially for the, for the live streams. I, I'm, I'm digging it. I really like it. Purchase a crib kicker, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was only like 10 bucks to do the etching. Oh, wow. Paul is selling a Centros carbon fiber in D2 for 50 bucks, shipping included. Shipping to the U.S.? You, you, really? Really? Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Paul. Well, there you go, guys. A carbon fiber Centros, or did you say carbon fiber? Or micarta? Yeah, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber micarta. Carbon fiber Centros. Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought, Zach. I thought it was 10 bucks. All right. 
What do we got next? Here we go. We have a Kubi 159. Uh, Geonife was very nice to send this out to me. Wicked, wicked Tanto, that carbon fiber. Man, I, car, Kubi does carbon fiber pretty well. Dude, I can't say anything. I couldn't even say my name five times fast right now for some reason. Oh, it's definitely got the Kubi thwack. Oh, definitely. But carbon fiber, Austin steel. It's good size. Um, we got a little bit more. I don't know what do we got on the grip for this one. We have one, two, three. Natural grip about three and three quarter. Aus 10. Aus 10 on this one. So, yeah, it feels... I was a little concerned about the pocket clip, honestly, but no problem whatsoever. That that pocket clip tucks in my hand very, very nicely, and it is, it's a dropper. It is definitely dropper. It's got a blade hole. Should I embarrass myself? Let's see. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh almost. Oh, come on. And of course. I do it off camera and can do it. It's the camera's fault. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. Blade Brigade. Alex, what is up? Thank you, brother. Coming in hot. Alex, coming in hot. You're disappointed? I'm disappointed, too. Because, okay, I've done it three times off of camera and can do it just fine. All right. Oh, I put it in the middle. Oh, no. God dang it. This is not working. Oh, it's not working tonight. Every time I put it in front of the camera, I can't do it. I take it off camera, and I do. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Right. You're flipping it. I, I am, but I'm Spidey flicking it. I cannot believe this. Oh, oh man. Stage fright must be. Yeah, get the finger cut kit ready. Exactly. Okay, come on. Yes, I did it on camera. Oh, yes. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, it's got a really good action. It feel, Dude, it feels like a Monday, man. I don't know what's going on tonight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, see that UFO? Yeah, really. Oh, my. Um... Oh man, God, you know what? It's been a hard, it's been a long time since I've messed, messed around with my effing grows. I'd really have to look, dude. <laughs> yes, this never happens, I swear. No, they know, they know that's not the truth. They know it happens all the time. Hey, Gary, what's up? M4 Osborne with not good action. Um, That will be a question for the crowd because I have not had an M4 Osborne. I cannot answer your question. I apologize. Uh, I do. No, no, I'm drinking bubbly water. That's just it. I'm drinking bubbly water. <laughs> so I can't even blame it on that. <laughs> there you go. Zach says he's on top of it. His got good action. Two stitches? Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Two stitches isn't bad. Yeah, it comes with age. It comes with age, man. Performance issues, it comes with age. Uh, I've always had really good luck with Kubi knives. Hey, Dom, what's up, buddy? Yes, I have always had... Um... Oh, Kubi Atlas, nice. And Somek, right? Very good. Yeah, I've always had good luck with Kubis. What's causing the bubbly in the water? CO2, I think. Yeah, it must be the bubbles. I don't know.
I got nothing to blame it on. Oh. Space balls, yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, it's definitely not moonshine. Oh no. Dom one two. Sweet. Nice. Fermentation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> DCS, what is up, buddy? How you doing? But yes, a little bit more of the Kubi 159. Yeah, it's I'm 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 kind of digging it. It's got more of those. I mean, you guys know me and Tantos. Yes, we know. But yeah, I blame age. I'm blaming age, Todd. That's what I'm blaming. Hey, Rennie, it's good to see you. Glad for glad you could join us. But that action, oh my goodness. Check that out. Just a slow roll and it goes. Very nice. Very, very nice knife indeed. Oh, I got to catch up here. Take a break. Let my mind... I don't know. I don't know what my mind's doing. It's doing something. Yeah, they do. They make a decent tanto. You gotta. I gotta give them credit. It's more on. It is more on that futuristic look, John. Yeah, I. I. I will give you that. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Alex, I've I've had zero zero problem with any of my cubies. I must need some peanut. I must. That's probably the problem. Is I'm not drinking peanut butter. I guess. I guess that's it. That's got to be the problem. So, and the detent is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now I bet I. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I can't. Now, I thought I was going to be able to inertia, inertia open it. Wow. That's four pretty good, and it didn't. So, yeah, that detent's pretty good. I thought with that bigger blade, it might. Oh, the claws drop shutty. That's, that's good. Um, Gosh, you know, I haven't talked to Adrian in a little while. I... I think he was going to last time I heard, but I don't know for sure. I'll have to say that. Virgil's root beer. I like root beer. I like root beer. Oh, yeah, it's about time to do a recap anyway, so I will do that right now for you, Stuart. But the multi-tool is the Leatherman OHT. But I, I will be perfectly honest with you. The sheath is what steals the show for me. The Black Bear Custom Kydex sheath. With the tech lock on it. Because it automatically deploys and, and automatically retracts the pliers. So, yes. This, I, this steals the show for me. From the package... It definitely does. Black Bear Custom Kydex sheath with a tech lock on it. Yes, indeedy. Oh, that's Navy coffee. Stuff that comes out like motor oil. Oh, you don't like Kydex? I'm digging this one. Oh, yeah, I'm digging this one. It's really, really nice. So, and then, like I said, this is the Leatherman OHT. Seems like a pretty decent tool. I haven't messed with it a whole lot. But, yes, indeedy. I keep forgetting that the sheath auto retracts, and I keep putting it in by myself, and I don't have to. But I do. Then, of course, we had the Smoky Mountain Knifeworks exclusive red tumbler with vented carbon fiber. Come on. There you go. Really, really nice Sinkovich design.
<laughs> Peas and carrots. Will it work with a Gerber? Uh, I don't know, Tom. I'm trying to think if I have a Gerber right now that I could try it on. Ooh. I don't think I have one here that I can try it on. No, I don't. I don't have one here at the house that I could try on it. Hey, Ian, what's up, buddy? But yes, the SMKW exclusive Kershaw Tumbler, Sinkovich design, D2 blade steel, deep carry pocket clip. Not a bad knife at all. Not a bad knife at all. Then, of course, we'll go to the... Oh, I'm sure he'd make one for a Gerber. Yeah, I'm sure he'd make one for it. I, I, I've seen a lot of his work. Um, doesn't... I've seen a lot of his work, and everything I've seen looked pretty darn good. But here you have the Vat Badlands Vagabond from Civivi. Flipper, dual thumb stud, FRN handle, coated D2 blade, deep carry pocket clip, ambidextrous pocket clip with recessed screws. And another, yeah, I, I, I can't, what can I tell you? I'm digging it. Uh, that's about all I can say. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, there's no judging here. We're not judging anybody. Hey, Chris, what is up? The man that I have beard envy of. Oh, my goodness. Then we have the Civivi Pintail. S35VN. Oh, yeah, the auto sheets for folding knives. Right on. Oh, very cool. Extreme Edge. Cool. Right on. Civivi Pintail S35VN Olive Micarta. Deep Carry Pocket Clip. Recess Screws. Ambidextrous Clip. Liner lock, another, now smaller, smaller edge. No, they do not, Paul. They do not ship outside of the U.S. Sorry about that. It does kind of look like a Duras, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But again, it is a little bit smaller. Like, there you go. My three and three quarter inch hand pretty much engulfs it. And then, of course, we had the Civivi. Ah, I did it again. Kubi. Ah, Kubi. Kubi 159. It's time to go. Time to go. Kubi 159, carbon fiber, Austan blade, big old Tanto. Very good detent on it. Tanto blade, Savubi. Yeah, Savubi. And if I do it off camera, I can Spidey flick it. So there you go. Yes, I would agree, Chad. I would agree. But there again, like I said, I still have not. I still have not had a bad Kubi, honestly. Minette's falling asleep. It's usually you that falls asleep. She usually fall. You usually fall asleep and she steals your phone. Yeah, it's a nice knife. It is a nice knife. <coughs> So, oh, where's my, there it is. Wow. All right. Man, I just need to give something away today. I, that Maybe that's the problem. I didn't drink any peanut butter whiskey, and I haven't given anything away today, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> Tonight's a rough night. Yep, you can't got to throw in Sun Cut in there now. 
Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah. Yep. Change some meds. Um, I'm pretty sure they, no matter what, they don't ship outside the U.S., Todd. I'm, I'm, I'll say 97% sure they don't ship outside the U.S. No matter online or over the phone. Um, you can, I mean, you can try, but I'm, I'm just pretty darn Pretty darn sure they don't. Hey, Berg, what's up? Yes, peanut butter whiskey. Oh, no, that's some good stuff. Oh, my goodness, that's some good stuff. Mm. They're out of the roof, uh, reserve swell center, Whitler. Yeah, I think they've been out of that one for a little while, Rick. I think the uh, the easy open jack sold out first, and... Or Mark, that was Mark. Yeah, it's bad. Wow, gee, many Christmas. Um, I think they sold out of that one first. The Easy Open Jack sold out, sold out first. The Swell Center sold out. I haven't looked at the the kayak. The kayak was the only one they had there for a while. Um, I like. Uh, which ones do I like? Scatterbrain. That that that. Uh, pretty much describes me tonight um scatterbrain and oh what's the other one i don't like squirrel there's one called squirrel don't like that Ooh, 71 now screwball that's the other one scatterbrain and screwball i like those two Buffalo Trace and Apple Juice. Hmm. All right. That sounds interesting. Yes. Yes, that is true, Paul. You could definitely do that. That is most definitely true. Have a good friend in the U.S. All right. Let's give something away. Oh, man, that's heavy. I got to take that off first. Wow. Let's give some stuff away. Because apparently JB just needs to go to bed. Jack and Coke? Hey, that's always a, that's always a staple. Now, I'm not a big fan of really any bourbon or anything like that, but really, uh, uh, Canadian whiskey. I'll drink a little, uh, I'll drink a little... Canadian whiskey now and then but that peanut butter whiskey in coffee oh man peanut butter whiskey and coffee or peanut butter whiskey over ice mm -hmm. yes indeed oh I love you too Manette I love you too you don't know how much I love y'all I'll just tell you that right now because you're putting up with me tonight. Definitely not on top of my game at all for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've drank a lot of McNaughton's, CK. A buddy I used to work with, he introduced me to McNaughton's. Yes, sir. Without a question. Loganitis, born yesterday. Nice. We're going to have some swag. We're going to give away some scotch on the rocks. Now, definitely I'm not a big scotch fan. Uh, sorry, guys. Not a big scotch fan. Swag. Swag. We got Saturday Night Live, Big Red EDC. Of course, we got some Zach stuff. We got some SMKW. We got some TPK, um, EDC specialties. What else is in there? Some Long Island Knife Guy. There's some of that in there. Knife Porn. There's some of that in there. Oh, let's see. What else we got in there? Damn Design. We got some of that. Uh-oh, who left? 
Did somebody leave? D's out? All right, brother. Take it easy, D. Have a good night, my friend. Have a good Sunday. Thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure, my friend. Um, I've been putting these in the bag for a while. The Zach sticker? Yeah, I've been putting those in the bag for a while. They're just maybe always stuck in the middle or something. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to, those of you that have swag, if you want to send it, I will definitely, definitely put it in the swag bags without question. Oh, there you go. There you go. You got a limited edition. There you go. Limited edition Zach Stuff sticker. Woohoo! There you go. Oh, there's one of those in there too. There's a micro. Do something kind for someone. Hashtag D <laughs> D S F K S, right? Is that it? Yep, there it is. It's right there. There's the, the micro. It's in there. It's in there. <laughs> It's definitely in there. Oh. Oh, I hear you, Rennie. I got one of those, too. Oh, that would be awesome, John. If you guys have them, I will definitely, definitely put them in. Hey, Jesse, what is up? Yep, there's definitely a micro D... DSFKS in there. So, what else we got? Um, how about how about a Nikron N7? Nikron N7 flashlight. Oh, this is a very this is probably one of my most popular videos that I have, honestly. But you got the rotating 90 degree head on it. It runs on a single, a single double A or single triple A, double A, double A, single double A battery. If I'm not mistaken, it is. Is it? Yep, it is magnetic. So very cool. Hashtag Zach Attack. Yes, it's a nice little light. They're nice little flashlights, and they're 13 15 bucks, something like that. So, not bad at all. So, we'll give one of those away, and what else? Got to give away a knife, right? Got to give away a knife. Wouldn't be Saturday Knife Live if we didn't give away a knife. I'm sure that's probably happened before, but... It's the holiday season. So we are going to... Oh, get out of there. Come out of the box. Oh, we're in the phone. There we go. But it is the holiday season. So we will be giving away a... SMKW Merry Christmas Rough Rider. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. It's one of the ones that changes. Dual. Match strike pull. You got a long pull and you have a nail nick both in the match strike. Slanted slant R bolsters. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. And you got Santa flying off across the moon. So there you go. Playing for that. And is that it? Is that all I put out here? Yeah, that looks like all I put out here tonight. So that's what we're playing for tonight. There you go. That's our prize for tonight. Well, I hope not, Chad. I hope it's not next Christmas before it gets delivered. I really, really hope not. So we are going to be doing numbers tonight. How many do we have? Lenticular, there you go, that's the word. Sorry, I leaned past the mic there. Lenticular. 
Um, how many do we got? Oh, 75. Woo. 75 tonight. Dang. Yes. Yes. Uh, before we go any further, a quick, and I did a shout out to Nick um, earlier this week, but uh, definitely a shout out to Nick. Um, he lost his very best friend um, at 39. Uh, very, very, man, that's way too early. Way too early. So shout out to Nick tonight. Um, I've spoken to him a little bit. So it's a rough time, especially around the holidays. So just uh, just say a quick prayer for Nick M tonight. Right, what do we got? I got 74, 75. Let's, let's see. Let's do... Let's see. Let's do our spread. Don't do anything before you see the start on the screen. Let's just make that. Don't do anything before the start. One guess. One guess only. One guess only, please. One, one guess only. <laughs> it just makes it easier, guys. It makes it easier on me. It makes it easier on Zach and everybody trying to find out. So let's do 700 to 850. That's going to be our spread tonight. 700 to 850. So, and is Zach going live tomorrow? While well, I'm trying to figure out a number, let's find out if Zach is going live tomorrow. So I got to come up with a number between 700 and 850. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, you're guessing too early. You're guessing too early. Um, let's see. All right, let's do that. Oh, did Zach say he's not going live tomorrow? I missed if he did. Wow, that pen doesn't work. Oh, tonight's going really well. Noon tomorrow. Noon tomorrow. Very good. Noon tomorrow. All right, there we go. Noon. Zach is going live at noon. All right, I finally got my number. Okay. So, one guess between 700 and 850 once the start is on the screen. Closest without going over is the winner. The stop Hank is at the ready. So... There you go. Now you can make your guesses. Closest without going over will be our winner. There's some good guessing going on right now. Woo-wee. Good guessing. Good guessing going on. Ash can, what's up? We got some guessing. Good numbers, good numbers. One guess, one guess only. Y'all are doing great. Thank you very much. Makes it so much easier. Oh, Paul's crossing his fingers. Y'all are in trouble. Paul crossed his fingers. Oh, exhausted from grading, huh?
<laughs> All right. Guess it's kind of slowed down. All right. Loser, loser, number chooser. <laughs> That's a good one, Mr. McKenzie. Have we got him in? Have we got him in? I think so. If somebody hasn't guessed yet, they're probably behind in the live stream. I want to give it just a little bit longer, guys. Yes, good luck to everyone. Ah, there you go. Double dogs in. Double dogs in. All right. All right, guys. I think we're going to call it. There's the stop, Hank. Oh, we'll give Mick. We'll give Mick his. The official stops aren't on the screen yet. So there we go. There they are. There's the stops. John, you're crazy. So our number for tonight was... 791 791 and i think we're going into sudden death guys because i think we had a couple people guess 791 i'm pretty sure i saw minette and hollywood with 75 one and yes just so you know jacqueline and minette are the same person just in case so I am seeing Hollywood and Minette. Yep. Yep. All right. Sudden death. Okay. Sudden death. All right. So we'll flip this around. So. Oh, hey, Lisa. How are you? Well, you are very welcome. Thank you for being here. It is definitely, it definitely wasn't my best. I will tell you that. Man, my brain was not working tonight. So, all right, guys. So, I am picking a number. Let me get a number here. I have this number. Why doesn't any pen that I pick up work tonight? It just, that kind of seems par for the course. My goodness, really? There were a lot of close ones. There were a lot of close ones. There were a lot of close ones. All right, the knife throwing. Holy cow. We're getting, we're getting devious here. <laughs> All right, so there is the number. So, Minette and Hollywood. At your leisure, one guess between 10 and 20. Closest without going over is going to win. Oh, it's right there on the screen. That's what you see. One number between 10 and and 20. Minette and Hollywood. Yeah, I think he did. I think he did lose a knife fight already. All right. Minette goes with number 15. Hollywood. Hollywood. I should set a timer up. Oh, there's Hollywood. 14. All right. You have 14 and 15. Well, I would like to congratulate Miss Minette because our number was 17. 17 was our winning number. So Minette is our winner for tonight. Very good. Very good. Congratulations, Minette. You are our winner. So, you will get the Merry Christmas Rough Rider, the Nikron N7, and a bunch of swag. So, there we go. The power of Little Red. There you go. There you go. Little Red coming back to help. Did he tell you? You guys, are you got him mic'd up? You got a mic in him? Is that what's going on? Oh, oh, Little Red. What are you doing over there? He's just staring at me. So, I don't know. 
All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, Zach is going live tomorrow at noon. Oh, man. Rennie's bringing back the winger. Holy smokes. That's been a while. A little birdie told you. Yeah, I'm thinking so. All right, guys. Thank you for another very, very uh, awesome Smoky Mountain. Oh, my God. I just need to go to bed. Oh. Sorry, guys. Tonight was not my best night. I am so sorry. I don't know what's going on. Wow. So I just better say good night. I better say thank you all very much. Right back here. Yep, we are definitely doing one next week. Uh, 26th, so the day after Christmas. We will see you all then, regular time at 10 p.m. Pacific time. You guys have a fantastic uh, Sunday. Have a fantastic week. For those of you that celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And I will see you next Saturday, guys. Oh, Zach. Zach. I got to give Zach some love. We got to give Zach some love. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zach, for all the help tonight. I greatly appreciate it. As always, you are terrific. Hashtag Zach Attack. Merry Christmas, you guys. Have a wonderful week. Good night. Thank you, Zach.